Okay, you know? great. Um, let's get right to this. Uh, it, for two and a half weeks, they said it was the movie. They blamed the movie. We have credible evidence that said they knew it was terrorism, but now... They found a scapegoat, didn't they? Well, absolutely. You have to find a scapegoat. And as recent as last week, Tuesday, here in New York City, the president said six times it was the video and never mentioned terrorist attack. So he is still you know, complicit in this story being told to the American people and indeed to the world. So now you have to understand it goes back to what Harry Truman says. The buck stops here. And it has to be the president's responsibility. Look, it's very simple, guys. They do not want to have their foreign policy exposed as being as a failure. And if you think about when when we initially went into Libya, you know, 18, 19 months ago, there were many concerns about the people that we were helping, these fighters, were those who had been in Iraq or other places fighting against our uh, men and women. There were a concern about al-Qaeda in the Maghreb being a part of these foreign fighters, and now we see that's come to fruition. Sure, and of course the strategy in Libya, and I, I'm sure they don't teach this, Terry Academy, is mm -hmm. leading from behind. No. Uh, is what is going on at the White House and has gone on since those four Americans, including our ambassador, were murdered. Mm -hmm. Has there been a cover-up by the White House? Without a doubt, there has been. Uh, it, when you look at the fact, four, well, five or six days afterwards, you had Susan Rice going on all of these uh, talk, you know, talk shows, uh, Sunday talk shows, with the same line. It's the video. It was spontaneous. First of all, you got to ask yourself, why is the U.N. ambassador going out and talking about uh, embassies and uh, consulates? Because that's not her line of expertise. Sure. And for her to talk about coordinated attacks, you know, she is not a, a member of the Department of Defense. It should have been a State Department person, Hillary Clinton, or it should have been Leon Panetta. So, so why, why is that? Yeah. Why was she, Susan Rice, selected to go out and say the same thing over and over on all the shows and not Hillary Clinton? Well, I think that it came down to the short straw if we had to go out and sell the line and uh, she did a horrible job of doing it right and then uh, James as recently as a couple of days ago James Clapper saying oops we may have screwed up and he, he's the director of national intelligence right well we still then have a problem with our intelligence gathering systems but it still comes back to the president who is supposed to be getting these intelligence briefings and updates every single day and making the decisions you know, he's the commander-in-chief sure there is a responsibility there does somebody need to be fired over this cover-up and debacle? Well, I think on 6 November that person will be fired. Yeah. Okay. Okay, next topic. Um, you have a new ad out. Yeah, a little something. It's pretty darn good. Let's take a, take a listen to the piece of that ad. February 16, 2003, Fort Hood, Texas. Lieutenant Colonel Allen West had just received deployment orders and prepares his men to go to war. That night, South Beach, Miami, Patrick Murphy is thrown out of a club for fighting, covered in alcohol and unable to stand. Murphy then confronts and verbally assaults a police officer. Patrick Murphy was arrested and taken to jail. Doom country in crisis. You decide. I'm Allen West, and I approve this message. Yes, you did. Yes. Well, I think it's important that we draw the contrast. Uh, that's what needs to happen in this presidential election right now. Mitt Romney needs to draw the contrast. And I think that Mitt Romney needs to say something along the lines of, when I was out there saving the Olympics after 9-11, where was Barack Obama? Who do you want? Make the decision. This is a country in crisis, once again, economic security, energy security, national security. So draw the contrast. And I think that's what we tried to do in this ad. Larry Sabato said that that ad that you're running right now is the most devastating contrast ad he's ever seen before. Well, my team would be very happy to have that. Now i got to give him like a trophy or something, I guess. Hey, uh, Colonel, we have to read this statement. Uh, this is from Mr. Murphy, his campaign. He said, quote, Alan West is shamelessly attacking Patrick Murphy for a mistake he made as a teenager, which he has discussed at length in the media as a mistake he learned. From. Well, first of all, uh, no one down in South Florida knew about this and had not been discussed. And I think it's reprehensible that they should talk about a contrast between two gentlemen. When they started off running ads of me punching old elderly women and uh, stealing money from a, a black family, and they even had me with a little gold tooth, and I think you guys can see I don't have a gold tooth. No, you certainly don't. Yeah. Isn't that wasn't that a super PAC ad that was funded by the guy's his, father? His dad, absolutely. <laughs> okay, man, Thank there's a lot going on down in Florida. Always a pleasure. Thanks.